Alpha cobra toxin is a substance of the venom of certain Naya cobras. It is a nicotinic acetylcholine receptor nature, antagonist which causes paralysis by preventing the binding of acetylcholine to the nature. Sources Alpha cobra toxin is a neurotoxin from the venom of certain Naya genus, including the Thailand cobra, the Indo Chinese spitting cobra, Naya siamensis, and the Chinese cobra. Naya atra. The cobras that produce the toxin live in tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Australia. The venom, produced by these snakes, is a mixture of proteins, carbohydrates, and other substances. The venom is only used when the snake needs it for survival, because it costs a lot of effort to produce. If poisoning a subject is not necessary, it can bite without excreting the venom. When the snake does use it, it mostly tries to immobilize or kill its prey. Structure alpha cobra toxin forms three hairpin type loops with its polypeptide chain. The two minor loops are loop I amino acids 1 to 17 and loop 3 amino acids 43 to 57. Loop 2 amino acids 18 to 42 is the major one. Following these loops, alpha cobra toxin has a tail amino acids 58 to 71. The loops are knotted together by four disulfide bonds, CYs3, CYs20, CYs14, CYs41, CYs45, CYs56, and CYs57, CYs62. Loop 2 contains another disulfide bridge at the lower tip, CYs26, CYs30. Stabilization of the major loop occurs through beta sheet formation. The beta sheet structure extends to amino acids 53 to 57 of loop 3. Here it forms a triple-stranded, anti-parallel beta sheet. This sheet has an overall right-handed twist 6. This beta sheet consists of 8 hydrogen bonds. The folded tip is held stable by 2 alpha helical and 2 beta turn hydrogen bonds. The first loop is stabilized because of 1 beta turn and 2 beta sheet hydrogen bonds. Loop 3 stays intact because of a beta turn and hydrophobic interactions. The tail of the alpha cobra toxin structure is attached to the rest of the structure by disulfide bridge CYs57 CYs62. It is also stabilized by the tightly hydrogen bound side chain of ASN63. In conclusion, the whole is held together by disulfide bonds and the loops are kept stable by turns and sheets. Available forms alpha cobra toxin can occur in both a monomeric form and a disulfide bound dimeric form. Alpha cobra toxin dimers can be homodimeric as well as heterodimeric with cytotoxin 1, cytotoxin 2, and cytotoxin 3. As a homodimer, it is still able to bind to muscle type and alpha 7 natures, but with a lower affinity than in its monomeric form. In addition, the homodimer acquires the capacity to block alpha 3, beta 2 natures. Bioinformatics and reactivity The sequence of alpha cobra toxin is ICFITPDITSKDCPNGHVCYTKTWCDAFCSIRGKRVDLGCAATCPTVKTGVDIQCCSTDNCNPFPTRKRP The venom has different amino acids that are able to bind reactively to the acetylcholine receptors. These receptors can bind different ligands like acetylcholine, nicotine and cobratoxin. Lysine, K at position 23 binds selectively to torpedo ACHR, acetylcholine receptor. The amino acids that bind to both neuronal and torpedo ACHRs are tryptophan at position 25, aspartic acid at 27, phenylalanine at 29, arginine at 33 and 36 and phenylalanine at 65. The amino acids responsible for the binding to alpha 7 ACHR are cysteine at 26 and 30, alanine at 28, and lysine at positions 35 and 49. Mode of action alpha cobra toxin binds antagonistically and slowly reversible to muscle type and neuronal type natures. This bond will block the receptor's ability to bind acetylcholine and thereby inhibits the ion flow through the postsynaptic membrane, which will lead to paralyzation. Natures can obtain their open conformation by a twist-like motion as seen in figure X. But this opening would only last up to 3 milliseconds, which is too short for initiating an ion flux. When acetylcholine binds to the receptor it remains in the open conformation for a longer period which is sufficient to cause the ion flux. 
When a complex was formed with an alpha-7 receptor-like protein ACHVP complex and 5-alpha cobratoxins, it is not able to twist anymore. Cobratoxin binds to the ligand binding pocket between the alpha, gamma or alpha, delta nature subunits Chen et al., 2006. It causes a postsynaptic block at the NMJ natures by preventing the binding of acetylcholine to its receptor. Long neurotoxins like cobratoxin also block neuronal alpha-7 natures Hugh et al., 2007, but it is unclear how effectively the long neurotoxin can reach the central nervous system CNS. Indications Indications for the bite of a cobra, in this case the Naya Atra Chinese cobra, are the darkening of the bite wound and pain and swelling of the area around it. Necrosis is a very severe result of the snake bite, and can keep harming the victim for years after the attack. Of course the Chinese cobra is only one of the snakes that produce cobra toxin, but the other snakes cause similar indications. Effects The cobra toxin of the Thailand cobra belongs to the neurotoxins. An important property of neurotoxins is that they are not usually able to cross the blood-brain barrier. Instead of this, they block the nerve transmission in the body. Alpha cobratoxin is a postsynaptic neurotoxin, which reversibly blocks the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. A bite of the Thailand cobra therefore leads to muscle paralysis. Because of that paralysis, respiratory problems may develop, which can lead to death. The moment when the neurotoxin begins affecting the body can vary from minutes to a few hours after the bite. At first, the venom will cause weakness as a consequence of the nerve transmission blocking. The first real symptoms of paralysis will be palpable ptosis, drooping of the eyelids, and external ophthalmoplegia, which is also an eye movement disorder. The reason for this is that the ocular muscles are more susceptible, in comparison with other muscles, for the nerve transmission blocking. The next muscles affected are the facial and neck muscles followed by the respiratory muscles and the limbs after another few hours. By then, the victim gets trouble breathing and will not survive this for a very long time. Toxicity The Naya Kaothia venom is a member of the snake three-finger toxin family in the subfamily type 2 alpha neurotoxin. The lethal dose LD50 of alpha cobratoxin is 0, 1 mg per kilogram by intravenous injection into mice 15. The toxin occurs as a monomer but can form a homodimer or heterodimers with cytotoxins 1, 2, and 3 through disulfide linkage. The monomeric form can bind with high affinity to muscular, torpedo, and neuronal alpha-7 nicotinic acetylcholine receptors nature. As mentioned before, binding to the nature it prevents acetylcholine binding to the receptor, which causes paralysis. Antitoxin and vaccines in the last few years there are some new developments to create an antitoxin or a vaccine for the toxic snake bites. Genetic vaccine In 2005 a genetic vaccine for cobratoxin was developed which encodes for a non-toxic cobratoxin variant. To develop this non-toxic component, some alterations were made in the cDNA for the cobratoxin. Two residues, critical for binding to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, were substituted ASP27 to ARG and ARG33 to GLI. This created protein has the same 3D structure as the original toxin but leads also to protective immunity. This synthesized vaccine could protect a victim against a dangerous snake venom. Because of these promising results, the creation of a global health program must be considered which can save people who are at risk of a snake bite. Rediocides A and G Rediocides A and G are found to be a possible antitoxin for alpha cobratoxin. These rediocides bind at the same nicotinic acetylcholine receptor as the snake poison does. Because a number of the binding sites are occupied with rediocides, alpha cobratoxin is not able to bind the receptor any longer. From an investigation it was found that rediocides can prolong the survival time of mice infected by cobratoxin. When the rediocide is injected 0.5 mg per kilogram immediately after the toxification, the survival time is not prolonged. When it is injected 30 minutes before the toxification, the survival time will be prolonged. The rediocides are able to bind at the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. 
When cobratoxin has already bound, this binding is much stronger and rediocides cannot compete with it. Applications in biomedicine Although cobratoxin is a relatively toxic and dangerous poison it also has a beneficial side. It is a natural and biological venom and its components certainly have a potential therapeutic value which is useful for the biomedicine. Painkiller In 2011, an investigation showed that cobratoxin could inhibit nociception, the sensation of pain. During this investigation inflammatory pain was induced on rats using formalin. The results showed that cobratoxin exhibited a dose-dependent pain-killing effect on this formalin-induced pain. Apparently, when the natural receptors in the central nervous system gets activated it provokes anti-nociceptive effects. Multiple sclerosis Multiple sclerosis, briefly MS, is an autoimmune disease of the central nervous system CNS. The immune system attacks the CNS which leads to demyelination. Myelin forms a layer, the myelin sheath, around the axons and neurons. When this sheath is damaged the transport of action potentials will no longer work effectively. The cause of this disease is still unknown but there is a possible chance that the disease is induced or worsened by viral infection. It appears to be that cobra venoms such as cobratoxin have an antiviral, immunomodulatory and a neuromodulatory activity. These properties make it a suitable candidate for a study in subjects with MS and contribute to the disease process. Clinical studies showed that when a chemical detoxification step is employed, the medication has minimal side effects. Modified cobratoxin is thus a possible therapy for MIS. Lung cancer in 2009 promising results showed that the acetylcholine receptor plays an import role in developing lung cancer. It is widely known that nicotine stimulates the tumor growth on our lungs. By binding to this receptor it activates some pathways which will block the apoptosis. As a consequence, unregulated cell proliferation occurs. This cell proliferation caused by nicotine could be blocked by using cobratoxin. Cobratoxin blocks the acetylcholine receptor because of the high affinity. Unfortunately, in 2011 this theory has been disproven. Mice treated with cobratoxin did not show any significant reduction in tumor growth. The conclusion of these results, in contrast with earlier results, was that the acetylcholine receptor inhibitors neither suppressed growth of the lung tumors nor prolonged the lives of the mice. References External links Media related to Cobratoxin at Wikimedia Commons